Hi Sagittarius, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back, of course. Love to have you here. Hope you're doing really good, Saggy. This is a general reading for you, so it may not resonate with everyone. Please keep that in mind, of course. Um, and it is timeless. I am doing this for January 24th, 2020. Four. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, but again, as I always say, Sag, whenever you come to this reading, there might be something in it for you, right? Um, thank you so much, obviously, for all of your beautiful love, your support. Thanks for subscribing and liking. Um, I was reminded to, to let you know that if you don't know, that subs hitting the subscribe button does not cost anything to you. It is free. Um, so I guess I'll start putting that out there if that matters, right? Um, Sag, I love you. As I said, I hope you're doing great. Um, when I was meditating on your energy off camera, um, you know so how I always say, sometimes I'll get images and stuff, sometimes I don't get anything. Um, I did, I got two things. Um, one was like, looked like an eye, um, cat eye maybe, um, a big bird eye, I don't know, it was just very, very quick, so I'm not sure what that means. Um, and the other part that I got was what felt like fireworks going off. Like true fireworks. So I was getting the feeling that you might be having something to celebrate very soon, right? Maybe not when you come to this reading, but something coming towards you soon. Um, we'll see. But when I was doing all my decks, as I do before I do every reading, um, there was this theme of a lot of positive energy coming through. A lot of major arcanas were showing up as well. So we'll see what this is going to mean. But I always have to fill you in because, you know, if I get a vibe, i got to give it to you. Okay, Sag, if you like a private reading, all that information is down below as well. Give me a couple of days. I'll get right back to you. Still kind of trying to catch up after, you know, uh, the Christmas, the New Year's kind of stuff. But nevertheless, we are doing it. Okay, Sag, we're going to open up with my Wisdom Oracle. Let's see what might be happening for you, okay? All right, Spirit, thank you so much for guiding me in this reading for beautiful Sagittarius, our fire sign. What is the message that you have for Sagittarius? For those that this is a reading. Bottom of the deck, Sag, we have chop wood. Um, that's 42, so it is a six. Sixes for me are a beautiful number of balance, of harmony, of alignment, of things coming together. Um, I'll show you the card here. It's a beautiful card because it's an even number. It also is made up of the number three, right? Three plus three is six. This is a powerful number of, of uh, the energy I'm getting is I'm not sure if you're needing to put much energy into whatever this might be. A confusing? I don't know. Um, but chop wood is the energy of not doing a lot. Um, if you're waiting to hear from something, for example, maybe you're waiting to hear back about a job offer, maybe a home, um, you know, maybe you're waiting to hear back from someone in particular. This is the energy here to distract yourself, um, to clean your house, maybe like there's a broom, right? And chop, but chop wood. It's like, go get the wood, get the water, do all those things that are maybe mundane, but at the same time, they take your mind off of what you're thinking of, um, what you might be waiting for, okay? Now, it is on the bottom. That's why I'm talking about it. Um, it's followed by co-create, okay? That's 40. So fours for me are that beautiful foundation, Sagittarius. It's that energy of um, building something that is going to last. Um, and I just heard te the test of time. Now, you know, that is more of a human statement, not my guys, because they always remind me that, you know, where we are, we use time, but where they are, there is no such thing as time. But co-create is about you and someone else or something else coming together for the highest good of all, um, even for abundance. You might be, you might be waiting on some, some, I just heard notice. Okay. So take that if it resonates, Sag. Um, but you might be waiting on hearing about some outcome where you and another person, or perhaps you're an entrepreneur, many Saggies are, um, you're waiting for something here to bring the abundance in. Because there is an egg on this card. Let me show it to you. Oh, wow. The cards are beautiful. Do you see the egg down here at the very bottom? Right over here. So eggs represent fertility, of course, but they also represent... Okay. Um, give me one sex spirit. They also represent, you know, a new life. Think of... Think of the Fool card or think of, um, you know, the World card. One cycle ending and a new one beginning, but with it is a new life, a new start in some way. Sagittarius is even followed by Milk and Honey. Wow. And then Blast. Are you kidding me? And then Happy Happy. Wow. Okay. After round and round. Interesting. You've got positive cards showing up. Milk and Honey. This is that beautiful energy. It's number 51, which is a six as well as the chop wood. Sixes might be really important to you at this time whenever you come to this reading. Um, but there's an elephant having this beautiful bath of milk and honey, and it's luxurious, and it feels soft on the skin and all of that. There's a rainbow behind it representing abundance, right? So blessings. There seems to be something that you don't need to do too much of, 
of right now is how I'm feeling. They just want you to do your own thing because it's already happening behind the scenes with blessed, with happy, happy. These are very positive, uplifting cards, Sag. 22, 26. So we got a four again, and now we got an eight. Okay, so gorgeous cards. After something that might have been stalled for quite a while, round and round. Because round and round is something that just doesn't always mean something that is lower vibration, but it does tend to mean that there's something that continually happens. Um, so perhaps the tide is shifting here for you, Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's see what spirit has for you. All right. Show me clearly, please, spirit, for Sagittarius. For those beautiful fire signs, that this is their reading. What's going on for Sagittarius? Whenever Sag comes to this reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, what are we doing here? <laughs> Didn't come out. I want to take a peek. <clears throat> oh, interesting. Orphan. It didn't come out. Still relevant, though, because it kind of just stayed stuck in that one position while I was holding it. So orphan is number five. That is all about change coming in, Sag. Orphan, how many different ways can we take this? I do feel the need to talk about it, so I'm going to, because um, it will participate in or have some part of this reading here. Orphan is that energy where, yes, someone might have left you. You might have been all on your own. And if that's the case, Sag, no, you're not alone. We're all here for you. I'm sending you big, big hugs and tons of love. But if you're feeling that way or that has happened, that's what this card is meaning. Also, it could be as well as if you have been applying for some kind of a job or applying for a home or applying for a loan or, you know, whatever it may be as we're all on different paths here. I'll leave it up to you. Um, you'll know if this resonates. Being turned down, being turned down um, more than once, you know, continually feeling of being turned down. But it didn't come out. So I feel like this is almost Spirit's way of coming through to say this is the energy you may be in or might have been in at this moment. We're going to put it back, but I do have to say something. There's the, the fates on the bottom. Beautiful energy at 17. That is an eight, Sag. So that is individually about you being on your life path here. The fates is the reminder from God's source, whatever you do believe in, that everything is working out in divine timing, but it's working out for your highest good always, even if it doesn't feel like that. And this is about trusting, right? Trusting that you are where you are because that's where you're meant to be at this time. But as soon as it all starts to, the behind the fates behind the scenes starts to happen, it will probably start to speed up quite quickly, whatever this may be. I'm just gonna have a sip of water. So strange. Just strange is that um, I haven't had a dry mouth or anything for quite a while and I've done other readings. Um, and it's strange that I just start doing your reading and all of a sudden my mouth feels very dry. So. You know, that can be attached to like when you're stressed out, you know, our mouth can get dried when you're nervous or our mouth can get very dry, right? So maybe some of you are feeling that way right now. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, Spirit, show me clearly. What is the message for Sagittarius? Whenever Sag comes to this reading, can we get one card, please? That one jumped, <clears throat> but it didn't come out. For Sagittarius, please. Ah, what is happening? My, my cards are feeling weird. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get one card, please, Spirit. And if you're new to my channel, as I said, welcome. But I will keep shuffling until a card flips out or until I get a little a little kind of poke in my intuition of Spirit saying, just do three times and let's move forward. Let's move on. Sag, I can't make this up. Happy, happy is on the bottom. So we had this card, right? Wow, there is something coming your way that is going to make you very, very happy. Um, I'm getting the energy of, that's wild, they're giving me the energy of like if, you know, when you're a kid or some, you've ever been around a kid that gets that toy that they really, really wanted, um, that just that excitement, just that unbelievableness, like, is this really true? Is this really real? Well, it's showing up here, so bottom of the deck, something's coming in that's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness, Sag. Look at the card. Look at the colors on this card. There's, there's stars, this, this girl, this, this person sitting on this egg has got the biggest grin on their face. And it almost looks like, you know, she's playing with the magic here, sitting on an egg once again. And as I have said before, not every card in this Wisdom Oracle has an egg, right? So it's very significant when the egg shows up and she's sitting on top of it. As I said, 28 or 26, that is an eight. So, you know, there is... Um, I feel like something's coming into your life, Sagittarius, where it's going to change. It's going to change the direction you're headed in. Um, 
Okay, it might ease a lot. Huh, funny, because we have chaos and conflict that flew out. So that is number 33. Threes for me are that beautiful energy. So that power, like all numbers are gorgeous, but threes have a little bit more of a, uh, I don't know how to say it. It's a, a little bit more of an attachment to threes because threes are your you it, it, it coming into alignment, right? If you're religious, it's the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, right? Um, and right now, I know there's other there's other important things that I normally think of when I think of three, but I'm, I'm, I'm meditating and I'm in channel mode right now, so it's not coming to me. But for you, for me, threes are coming into your alignment, right? You know, your body, your mind, and your soul coming into alignment. <clears throat> and body can represent also exterior, outside of us as well. So chaos and conflict, 33, that does add up to a six, but there has been some kind of shit going on in your life that probably has felt quite chaotic. Um, they're telling us right here that there's been a lot of unhappiness, there's been a lot of drama, there's been a lot of arguing with other people, Sag, or even just internally, right? You know, maybe something's been going on in your life where you're just beating yourself up inside um, and it's causing a lot of, of, you know, achy feelings is what I'm getting. I mean, even if you look at this card, and I will show it to you in a second, um, this looks like it was once a zebra, right? but it's turning into a horse and it's losing its stripes. So in that way, it is representing the transformation, but I know that transformations are not always easy, especially going from chaos and conflict to happy, happy. Um, it's, it's a leap, but it, again, it feels necessary, okay? So we'll, see, we'll get into it more when we get into the tarot, but can you see how this zebra is losing its stripes? So there's a shift going on that is necessary. Okay, thanks spirit. You know, and the card next over here is fork in the road. So whatever this may be, Sag, you may have to make some decisions as well. Let's get into the tarot and see what this is about. I wanna open up with my fountain deck. So I'll pull to that today. Four of wands, okay. So Sag, that's your energy, Leo and Aries. You maybe, maybe you have that in your placement, maybe people in your life. You know, right here in this deck, there's four people on a beach. And they're celebrating. They are having the time of their life. So even that being, again, on the bottom of the deck, I feel like even if you're going through a lot of shit or you're in a tough spot right now, Sag, this is your sign to hold on because it is about to change. Four of Wands is celebratory energy. This is also could be marriage, could be a proposal. Again, proposal, think. Yeah, romantically, someone could be proposing to you or you might be proposing to them. But this could also even just be on any other level here of a proposal that comes in that really shifts the energy from this to this. Um, beautiful energy here. Love this. Hopefully you can see it. Camera's not the best. It's followed by the Six of Swords stage. So I feel again, whatever this might be coming towards you, it takes you out of the muddy waters is what I'm hearing. It takes you out of, out of that... Um, um, they're giving me fight and flight, fight or flight right now. So for some of you, you may be in this position right now, going through something that is really difficult. You're unable to see around the corner. And what Spirit is saying, it is going to be taking you, uh, you it may be dark right now, but the sun is going to start to shine. The light is going to be turned on. It's taking you away from the shit and taking you somewhere where it's going to be much easier, where it will bring you more happiness. We have the Hermit next, Virgo's card. You know, you might be doing this, this might be just individually, again, you're inside of you, going through, going through some kind of, I don't know why they're giving it to me, but it, it does feel like, I almost feel like if this is your reading, you either are or have been feeling a little lost, a little lost, not quite sure which way to go, and it might not even be because of anything, like, because they're giving it to me almost the, the feeling I'm receiving from my guides is like you might have a good decent job you might have a, a decent relationship you might have a decent home do you know what I mean but but there's still this some there's still something going on that it's not oh, help me find the word spirit give me the words because it feels almost like that time where you're kind of void of maybe um Excitement, maybe void of not being able to have that kind of excitement. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this, but it's just feeling a little heavier, and I feel like what's coming towards you. You may don't. You maybe don't see it, um, but I do feel it's going to bring good things to you. 
Okay. All right, Spirit. Wow, that was that was kind of even in my mind's eye, I almost felt like confusion in my mind's eye. So um picking up on someone's energy. All right, Spirit, let's get into this. Show me what you can about this this reading for Sagittarius. What would you like Saggy to know, please? What can you guide Sagittarius in here? What do we have? The Six of Wands, Sag. So this is twice you've had this card. Um, let me hold it up closer. Fountain deck is beautiful, but it's a little lighter in color, so it's a little bit difficult to see the illustration. Five of Wands comes before the Six of Wands. So if you look here, this person is lying on a orange box. Kind of like, whoa, relief. There's relief coming in on this card. Um, you've made it. So again, there's something here that you're going to be successful on, Sag, that, um, that there's going to be a reason to celebrate um, because you've made it. You've made it to whatever plateau this is that you're striving for. You, again, though, they're reminding you, you may not see it right now. Let's see what's on the bottom. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Coins. So our pentacles, right? The things we can taste, touch, feel. It's usually our money. It is our earth element, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles, though, is this beautiful um, stability. Can mean like a lot of money, right? Because Ten of Coins is, is huge. Usually it means a, more than enough, right? To really be able to live your life and be safe and solid with that. Um, so I don't know, this could say that there, you're coming into a windfall. This could say that you've gotten that promotion. You've gotten that raise. Um, I mean, there's many different ways. It can even be inheritance as well, right? Um, but this being on the bottom with the victory card, six of wands, this feels quite substantial. And again, this making the shift from, you know, the chaos, the conflict, maybe the arguing, the stressing out um, within yourself with other people, just that ugh, that uh, that yuck feeling, and turning into the happy happy. We have the page of coins underneath this as well, so it's almost like I feel like you're coming into some amount of power here, some amount of money that allows you to really be able to start anew, going in a different direction. Page of Pentacles. Pages are the beginners. You know, they're, the knights are the action move. The shifters and shakers, they're the movers. This is a new beginning here that seems to be on offer. Something that is going to bring in a lot of relief for you. All right. And as I'm, as I'm saying that, Sag, I'm feeling like spirit is like, yeah, it's different for every one of the Sagis that are relating to this because you guys are so innovative and you're so creative and you're amazing. You have the, you have amazing talents. <clears throat> and I feel like whatever this is, it's either that you have been working on a project or working on something for quite a long time and it's gotten frustrating, or you've been, or and, let's go, or an and, and um, you've been really working on manifesting. You've really been trying to see, you know, the glass half full and it's, you're really calling it towards you. Whatever way this is, you're calling it towards you. Show me more, please, Spirit. Thank you for guiding me in this reading for Sagittarius. Show me more for those Sagis that this is their reading. Six of Wands, victory. After the Five of Wands, which is, you know, conflict and drama. And arguing, okay. The Fountain. Oh, this card does not come out very often, Sag. This is powerful. The Fountain is, because this is a Fountain deck, the fountain deck is basically like the hands of God, um, the hands of God, the divine, um, take it as far as you want to take it. It is supreme, not supreme, but kind of, um, it's that energy of, oh, this is just powerful. It's blessings. It's being watched over. It's being guided and it's being, this card represents being, re giving, receiving everything that you've wanted. Sag, I'm going to get my water cup again because all of a sudden my throat, my mouth has just gone dry again. Who am I picking up on? I drink a ton of water. I love water. Um, <laughs> but anyways, who am I picking up on out there? The fountain card showing up. This is infinity. Um, oh man, this is powerful. Your angels, your guides, um, God, source, as I said, the divine, you know, the Holy Spirit. They're all coming here. That energy is around you and showing up in this reading. Um, feels very healing as well. Four of Wands once again on the bottom. So Sag, there is something coming towards you that you are going to be celebrating big time. Let's continue, Spirit. Thank you. What else do you have for Sagittarius? 
Sag, I can't think of a sign that is more deserving of being completely happy and having more than enough and having a light heart. Do you see all these cards are kind of jumping? I hope you do. I, I don't know what this is. It didn't come out. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Wands. I'll talk about it, of course. This is, that, it's been a long, tough road, Sag. It has not been easy. You've, you've carried, look at all those wands that this person is carrying. They're still carrying it. They're about to put them down because there's no need anymore. The responsibility is being removed. Um, but have you seen how these cards have been acting? It's just, it's a little, it's a little, um, kind of similar to the energy I'm getting here. They're, they're jumpy. Um, see, those almost jumped again. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Show me more, please. Like, what the heck? They're, these just flipped around. There's that five of wands. All right. Let's ground the decks. This is so weird. Page of Pentacles. We already had this. Sad. I'm just going to ground the deck here because this is, um, let's see. Let's see what wants to come up. What's going on here, spirit? What is the message? Can we get some more cards on the table, please? Regarding this reading for Sagittarius. Not being guided to take them. It's almost like my guides are playing with me right now. I can almost feel like there's a little bit of giggling going on. Um, so it's really kind of cute, but I'm trying to get the message. So is this all you want me to talk about here? We're just going to leave it on the fountain deck spirit, the fountain card. Is there anything else? Okay. We're going to go three, three times. One, two, want me to move to another deck. Three. Okay. Nothing came out. Got the Knight of Cups on the bottom. Beautiful. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Please don't let me spill this. I think if I put it here, it'll be in the way, won't it? Yep, because my camera's just over here. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the energy of falling in love. Um, again, falling in love with yourself, falling in love with someone else, falling in love with life again, um, where everything feels beautiful, where everything just feels so much sweeter, Sag. Everything is sweeter. You're able to also then pursue that of what you love, whether that be, as I said, other people, passions, hobbies, careers, whatever. Ace of Pentacles is next. Ace of Pentacles? What the hell am I saying? Ace of Wands, Sag. This is your energy, and this is my yes card. A brand new beginning, a brand new seed that you've planted that is going to be so fulfilling and so full of joy and happiness. Okay, let's move on to another deck. I can fill my guides. That's enough. Which deck do you want me to use? Let's go lights here. Okay. My goodness, the energy in this reading. We have the three of cups. So again, that's our water element, right? Our emotions, our relationships, but our relationships to ourself as well. Sag, our emotional well-being. Three of cups is celebrating. Wow, man. Celebrating something. Like, look at these guys. These are obviously, um, they're wearing dresses, but it doesn't matter, male or female. We all have masculine and feminine within ourselves. This is hanging out with the people that mattered with you, to you, being able to wear what you love to wear, being celebrated and celebrating together. It's like letting your hair down, followed by the Six of Swords. <laughs> so we've had this now twice. Six of Swords moving away, followed by the Six of Wands. I don't know what this is, Sag, what you're, what you're achieving here or what's coming towards you, um, but whatever this is, it is feeling really, really beautiful and uh, even well-deserved here is what I'm hearing. Queen of Wands, magic man, beautiful. And this is your energy, just the feminine side. Creating magic, being everything you touch basically kind of turns to gold here. Um, just ex exuberating energy coming through the world. Look at all these, now we're getting the major arcanas. We've got the world. They're giving to this a little bit different. You know, the world represents the ending, right, of a cycle. So a new one can begin. By the way, it is 21, which is a three. But the world can also say that you're going to be on top of the world. Um, that you're going to be so joyful and so happy on top of the world. For some of you, whatever this might be, it could even be touching people around the world. Okay, depending on what timeline you're on. The lovers next. I just want to, what is going on? The lovers, Gemini's card. This used to be called the choice card, still can be referred to, but if you look at this card in particular, this feels like passion, passion, excitement, you know, 
Um, whew, it's very hot. Sag, you have the star next. Okay, I've gone way too far here. Way too far. But look at all these major arcanas. The star, the hierophant, the chariot. That, what is happening? The hierophant, the chariot, justice. Ooh. Sag, and your card, temperance. One, I know it's on the bottom. Two, three, four, and I normally don't go that far. Four, five, six, seven, seven major arcanas. This is a big deal. This is totally a big deal. Well, let me know. You have to let me know what this is when it comes in or if it's coming in already because <clears throat> this, this doesn't happen very often. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much. Show me more. Can we get some more cards on the, on the table here? What else would you like Sagittarius to know? Where else is Sagittarius headed? Okay, that one went in. Show me more, please. Okay, thank you. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom side. So again, this is very grounded, healthy, um, secure, grounded energy. Queen of Pentacles, she's quite wealthy. Again, it's the feminine side. She also trusts big. She trusts that everything is happening for the right reason. She's very nurturing. She's very loving. Um, I feel like this is where you're headed. Beautiful energy. We have, okay, then we have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So basically, we have the Fountain card, which is God's source. And then we have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands, all your energy. Sag, whatever this is, it's freeing you up to be able to pursue what you want to in whatever that is, right? Maybe some of you are going to start traveling. That Six of Swords is coming into my mind's eye. Be able to travel. Maybe some of you are going to be able to open your own business. Um, you know, whatever it is, maybe some of you are going to be playing in a band, right? Maybe you're a great musician and you've always wanted to be able to do something like that as she's playing the bongos here. Um, not the bongos, the jambé. But however this is, maybe some of you want to have a horse rescue. I mean, I don't know what this is, but Sag, it feels like it could be this big that you could really... Um, things that your life could look completely different um, than where it is right now. If that is what you're so choose, wanting and choosing. Ace of Wands, once again, it just feels, and even the Knight of Wands is looking over at the Ace of Wands. I don't know, this just feels like such a, such a shift with that Queen of Pentacles as well. Oh my God, Sag. And then you have the Nine of Cups. So wishes coming true. Your wish fulfillment actually happening. After a time that has probably been very hard, juggling, juggling your money, juggling your energy, juggling your hope, you know, from despair. Even the Knight of Pentacles is underneath that, which is telling me it's been a long process. Okay, I want to go more here, but this is beautiful. Let's get some more, please, Spirit. They're not, Sag, they're seriously not giving me, like, detail, detail. Um, sometimes it just goes like that. Um, I like it when I get a little more detail, but I mean, obviously I can't force it, right? It's the message they're giving me. Big changes, big, big changes. Going from chaoticness to being happy. Okay, show me more please, Spirit. Can you show me why the Six of Wands is here? Beautiful energy, victory, but can you show me why it's here? Okay, did anything fall? No. Nope. Anything? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Quite a few. Quite a few cards, Sag. Why am I not surprised today? We've got the Hangman, the Queen of Wands, the World, the Queen of Wands, and the Lovers, the Hangman. We had these before on the bottom, but now the Hangman is showing up. <clears throat> Why is the Six of Wands here? Something that is changing your perspective. There is something coming in that's changing completely how you're seeing and viewing your life. Even living your life. Although the Hangman really doesn't take a lot of action. This is more about, you know, how, how you're seeing things. So the hangman with the world, the queen of wands, the lovers, I feel like the six of wands is saying it's here because the, the hard times, the struggles have had to come to a close. Something's coming in here that brings this magic to you that changes your perspective on life. Um, that's, how, that's what I'm feeling. Okay. The star where I pick up this. Again, this is healing, renewal, beautiful, bloody energy, Sag. It's also a wish fulfillment card as well. Can you show me? <laughs> okay, they don't want they don't want me to clarify the fountain, so I won't. 
can you show me, oh, and on the bottom is a three of wands. So there's that movement, Sag. Again, this can be moving, right? And maybe overseas, because I'm really drawing, my eyes are really drawn to the water there. Um, but this is big movement now. Um, no more stuck, to en stuck energy. What else can you show me um, about the Ace of Wands? What is this new beginning? Can you show me more, please, Spirit? This new beginning for Sag, for those that this is our reading. Okay. The Five of Pentacles. Okay, so Five of Pentacles, again, that's like that orphan card. Um, I can't believe I'm remembering these cards. This spirit's really helping me here. It's like that orphan card. No more feeling this way. Five of Pentacles is feeling like you don't have enough and maybe not having enough, not having anyone around to support you. Again, just feeling desolate and feeling like almost like all is lost. But the thing is, is that it's not. There is a key here to go into the keyhole to unlock the door. Just can't see it because, you know, there's a lot of heaviness. Bottom of the deck. Well, this is crazy. We got the devil. Here, I want to show it to you as, this, as it is. We have the devil. Also have the seven of swords here, or seven of wands, which is protecting yourself. Um, protecting yourself from anything that's more negative, right? Now, it was only half peeking out. Still relevant on the energy, though. But the bottom of the, the bottom of the deck stage, we have the devil. So the devil and the five of pentacles. There's been a feeling and feeling and reality maybe here of never having enough, not having enough control over your life, not having the power over your life how you want it to go. Um, can be representing someone else in your life that has had that power, leaving you feeling uh, left out in the cold. So they're saying, not anymore. You have this brand new start, this brand new seed, Sag and let it grow because it's going to take you on a beautiful path that's going to be very inspiring. Okay, um, I'm going to go one more. Let's go one more. Is there anything else you can tell us about Sagi uh, re regarding this reading, please, Spirit? Anything else you have that Sag could know that could be a piece of advice, guidance coming up in the future? <laughs> this is just so wacky. Well, the Emperor beautiful Aries energy, but it didn't fly out again, Sag. So, you know, I don't know what's going on here. We got the Emperor, we got the Ace of Cups, and we got the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Very beautiful heart energy coming in, loving um, with this independent financial ability to do what you want, and ruling your own world here with the Emperor. Didn't come out, so I'm going to put it back. <laughs> this is funny today. All right. Is there anything, Spirit, that you have for Sagittarius that will come out here? Anything else you can guide them with? And may the cards come out, please. I've just seen the devil again. That's really interesting. Hmm. Because the devil is a very restrictive energy most times. Sag, nothing's coming out. This is crazy. Crazy. We got the chariot where I stopped, though. Cancer's card. You're going to be moving in the direction, but you're in charge of the reins. Your hands are on the wheel. Um, and you are the one that is going to be steering the way you want to go, but with guidance and support and love. Okay, Spirit, we're going to go three times. If there's nothing else, I'm going to put this deck down. All right, anything else for Sagittarius, please? Two and three. Okay, well, that's a lot of cards, but we'll take it. King of Pentacles on the bottom. So we just have the Queen of Pentacles, now we got the King of Pentacles. Got the Knight of Cups after that. Sag, I just feel like whatever this is, um, it does feel more on the material level, although, again, this could be someone coming into your life that balances you and goes from being on your own and maybe feeling that inner conflict to bringing out the excitement and the but, and, but the love as well, okay? So the King of Pentacles is very financially secure and very stable. And I'm saying that about the romance because we do have the Knight of Cups once again. Let's see what cards came up. We got the Nine of Swords, okay? Anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, worrying. That would go with the chaos and the conflict. We got the Ten of Cups, beautiful, with the King of Cups, gorgeous. The Ten of Cups, Sag, this is beautiful energy of, of um, partnership, of hap true happiness and joy. Um, 
it just is like freaking one of the great cards, one of the great energies coming through. What, however, this is shifting for you. They're not giving it to me specifically, but man, I feel like you're. This is a this is a big a big turnaround is what I want to say with the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. King of Cups is Cancer, um, and King of Cups is just the masculine side of really being in charge of your emotions, meaning not, though like not analytical, where your emotions are just at this beautiful balance where it flows, where there, it, nothing really throws you off. You're trusting, you believe in yourself, you believe in what's coming towards you, you believe in the good, and it comes towards you, and nothing, even the waves behind won't knock the King of Cups. And, hmm, these cards are not quite lined up together. <clears throat> One's a little bit higher. Let's see if I can show you what I was trying to, what I was getting, my eyes are drawn to. It was, how was it, like this? Almost like the water from this Ten of Cups flows into the King of Cups. <clears throat> Give me a second, Sag, because the energy is quite wonderful, and but it's a little overwhelming. Give me a second just to look through these cards and feel the vibration. I don't know what you've been doing, but kudos to you for doing it because it does feel like things are really beginning to move for you. Um, and I'm feeling like the gray star skies are going to crack open and the sun's going to start to shine. A little bit of hard times, a little bit of stress, a little bit of worry, a little bit of even, I'm, I just heard the word regret with the nine of swords. But that is not getting in the way of you moving forward and having this huge thing to celebrate. What that huge thing is, I'm not sure. It's going to be different for each of you. But you'll know if this is your reading, Sag. Beautiful energy. No more Five of Pentacles being on your own, being alone, feeling like you have nothing. This is shifting quite quite loudly. Um, okay, so this is where we're going to leave it. And just just by note, I just looked right, and you know, um, the Hangman is twelve. The World is twenty one. Right there, those two cards are three. So, <laughs> let me know what this is, because I would love to know celebrate you. I celebrate you with whatever this is, this success is coming in. It's beautiful. All right, Sag, let's close it off. I'm going to get a Treasures of Takashi. Feel drawn to this deck today. This is Wednesday, right? Um, well, at least where I'm at. January 24th, so Wednesday, hump day. Hmm. Very interesting. What is happening on this Wednesday? Or whenever you come to the reading, but we have magic on the bottom. Wow, love it. Okay, let me read it and then we'll see what card wants to come out, if anything wants to come out, Sag. Unexplaining, un, no, unexplained, fascinating turn of events. Expect the unexpected. You have wondered and you have let go. Magic is in the air. Wow, Sag, this is almost like Spears' way of, of feeling, answering my question when I just said, I don't know what you've been doing. Well, whatever it is, it's been working. Um, okay, so it says, magic is in the air. Don't fall under the spell of ego. Often what appears to be real is only an illusion. Allow the spellbinding passion of your spirit to guide your life with enchantment. Okay, so again, unexplained fascinating turn of events. Expect the unexpected. You have wondered and you have let go. Magic is in the air. <laughs> okay, beautiful. All right. This is really lovely. All right, Spirit, thank you. One final card, please, for Sagittarius, for those that this is their reading. With that fountain card, okay, what is it? Oh my God, we got two cards. Transformation and enthusiasm. Well, this is a big transformation going from chaos and conflict to happy, happy. You know, it's almost like the, even that um, zebra that's losing its stripes. It almost feels like it's shedding a skin here right now for me, okay? Shedding fur. Change of season. Okay, thanks, Spirit. Transformation is a gradual process. Look back and see how many changes have occurred and thank yourself for all the steps you have taken. Now may be the time for a giant leap of faith or you may be ready to go for a journey into the unknown. Let go of the past and be free to move on. Renewal of strength and revitalization is upon you. Call upon your heart energy to see you through this transformation. Wow. And you are being protected and guided, Sag. You are so loved. I love you. The universe loves you. Wow. This is 
Beautiful. All right. And then we have enthusiasm. Okay. That's what I was feeling over here. Getting very excited. Be enthusiastic about life. Being positive and... Can I speak today? No, I guess not. Being positive and cre creative will allow plenty of energy and eagerness for new projects. Look on the bright side and smile a lot and allow your bright, bubbly enthusiasm to, to delight, excite, and encourage others. Take care. You might not assess a situation clearly if you are too over-enthusiastic. So be balanced. Again, I'm just feeling like this goes with this card, Sag. You know, the Knight of Wands, which I often feel is you. Um, again, because you're so creative. Okay, so enthusiasm. Get excited, baby. Get excited. And then finally, we have value on the bottom. All right. Appreciate yourself. Cherish and respect yourself. Do not undervalue your talents. I'm seriously struggling with reading today. What the heck is going on? Be prepared to put a value on your efforts. Every experience is to be valued, whether you understand the lesson or not. <clears throat> there may be greater worth in something than you first saw. So, value. <clears throat> All right, spirit. That is really powerful and really beautiful. Can't believe we have the magic card at the beginning. It's exactly what I feel like this is. Sag, I wish you so much happiness and joy and blessings upon blessings. I feel like you're going to be receiving this. So, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. Um, say thank you to your angels and guides or whoever, whatever you believe in. Be full of gratitude. Stay in your grace. This is incredible. You're about to experience something that maybe you haven't experienced yet in this lifetime. It feels very balanced, grounded, and yet it feels exciting and free. That's the energy I'm picking up from this. All right, so Saggy, this is where I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much, my love, for being here and supporting me. I hope you know how much you mean to me. Um, I, I'm trying to let you know that you mean so much to me. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. I wish this upon everyone that wish, watches this, this video. Um, may this all come true for you. All right, Saggy. So until next time, we've got that full moon in Leo. I believe it's on the 25th tomorrow. I'm going to, when I hit off here, I'm going to just do a little research and um, I'd like to know how that's going to be affecting Sag as well. Um, it's fellow fire sign as well. So Sag, with that, I'm going to leave you here. I am sending you the biggest hugs, babe. I hope you can feel them. Mwah. So much kisses and love to you. Go rock your day. All right. And remember, this is probably going to come out of nowhere. Like it's going to be kind of like for, to, for the most part, I think. That's what it feels like. All right. All right, Saggy. Um, have a wonderful day. All right. We'll see you next time, I hope. Take care.